Carver High School, one of the biggest heritage high schools in Columbus, Georgia. Tradition is strong. Man, everybody know a Friday night under the lights playing for Carver High School? Man, them are, those are some rememberable moments. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carver High School documentary. 2022 season. Get ready. For the last, I can say, 10 years of Battle Carver has been the dominant team in the you know, city of Columbus. You know, it, when you everybody suit up, first thing they say they want to beat Carver. You know, Carver is team that you know known for making a state run. They won one title in the last, you know, 10, 10 years. But they, you know, they coming up off of state, you know, making it all the way to the state. And they're being run up to the state, you know, losing that game. It's kinda heartbreaking, but like they say, Carver, don't rebuild, they just reload. First game of the year, Carver getting ready to play Hardaway down at Memorial Stadium, kicking off the season. You know, they don't know where they had. Got a new quarterback, new quarterback. I don't think he overplayed the position. Not at Carver. From my understanding, played at Glenwood. He wasn't a quarterback. Transitioning the quarterback, he got to get the respect from his whole team. He gotta prove himself. Cause one thing Carver was known for having a quarterback to carry them. Yeah after year, you know. That quarterback always something special for Carver. But here we go. Carver coming into the new season. You know like I said Carver don't rebuild, they reload. Four five star players all over the team. Speaks a lot. But here we go. These boys getting ready to go to battle against Hardaway. I mean, Carver was a big favor in this ball game, but you know, that's why they play the game. Now, Carver did score first due to the fact the quarterback got in a little trouble and just threw the ball to one of the defenders, which put Carver up 7 0. But Hardaway, you know, Hardaway made a game out of it. They wouldn't go away in the first half. They wouldn't go away. Like I said, Hardaway wouldn't go away. As the quarterback draws back, rolls out, and finds his man, Braston DeRisco, in the corner for a touchdown to tie the ball game up. Yeah, the first half, you know, Carver started off a little slow the first half. I mean, it, you know, first game jitters. Quarterback got to find his way. He got to buy into the team, you know. This is a team that's known to dominate. And they got a new quarterback. You know what I mean? He got to get the feel of this thing. He got to buy into his team. That's how it always, you know, be. You know, first game jitters. Yeah, Carl Wood actually start off slow in this, this game. Yeah. Not only that, you know, Carl Wood. Holloway attempting a, a, a pretty decent field goal to take the lead 10 to 7. Man, Carver got to do something. You know what I'm saying? They got the big Harris Bowl this week. And Holloway tipping on it, you know what I'm saying? Like they looking ahead. They were, they were down. 
had, you know, actually went in the locker room down, 10 to 7. Carver Car got to do something. Quarterback, you know, you got to do something. You're down, now you got to prove this your team. Second half started, man. I mean, Carver just, was, you know, still struggling with the ball. You know, Hardaway was making big stops. Man, he laid in the he laid in the third quarter. Carl still got seven points. Vail, you gotta, you know, put this team on your back in this day. Let these guys know. You the man. I don't know. I mean you new to the team. You know, you gotta buy in. And here we go. Carver started chomping off. Man. You know, they got they got an all-star running back. Riley, man. You know, when I say one of the best in the city, Riley is the, the man for the job. You got Dean and Riley, man. No, nah, you, you ain't finna keep him off the board. Hey, you have it. Big, big down right here. The veil keep the ball. Go straight up the gut. Break a few tackles in for a call, but first. Offensive touchdown on the ball game, which came in the third quarter. Man, this man had to prove himself. Oh, yeah. He's going to be all right. Carver had them touchdown coming back to back. Now, they got to feel that thing, man. That offense went crazy. And that thing, you know, it was 21 to 10, man. Carver wasn't letting up. That second half, yeah. You find out about them call with Tiger. Yeah. Yeah, they it got it got kinda out of hand from that point on. Yeah, Carver. Carver didn't let up no more, you know. And he, and I seen Holloway give up. They really gave up. The final score really ended up being 41 to 10. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Talk to me. Come on. You ready? Hey, we ain't never underestimate nobody. Know we got spruce in there. We definitely for that hard way. Come out here with a hard hat on. Ready to get done. Already, already. That's a bit. That's a bit. You got spruce in there. We talking. I'm ready. This is our first car spruce game, so I'm ready. You already? Yes, sir. They said they're going to destroy y'all in there. We now. I don't believe that. We got the best defense in 3 8. I don't believe that. 10 4, 10 4. Who y'all big boys out here? One of our big boys. The following week, August the 26th, the Big Heritage Bowl. Now, over the years, this 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 is one of the biggest rivals in the Bay City. This rivalry ranks with like the Tuskegee Morehouse, the Fort Valley Auburn State. It had that that type of effect, you know what I'm saying? That same type of crowd atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? And it's a high school. It don't get no bigger than this. I mean, this year, you know, Spencer was, you know, feeling like, you know, they got Carver this year. You know, I, try, I talked to a couple of Carver guys about this, you know, this, you know, this big rivalry. They just kept it, you know, so we ain't going to do no trash talk. We're going to talk out, you know, so we're going to lay it on the field. You know, Spencer, you know, they laid it, they laid it. You know, they talk their trash, you know what I'm saying? And they, they, were, they were prepared, but they didn't want, they won, they weren't prepared for what was really about to take place. But, you know. Big rivalry games, man. It's I don't know, I you know. But like I said, Heritage Bowl, the more stated, man. This was the game. You know, the beginning of the ball game, both of them had their jitters, offensive jitters, due to the fact Carl had been starting slow. They last couple games. I don't know how long they can last. You know, I mean, Spencer defense was on, you know, on point. You know what I'm saying? You know, Carver, you know, they, they, they had their little ball. You know, Spencer couldn't do nothing either with the ball, though. Spencer, they struggled with the ball, too. You know what I'm saying? And it was just a defense, a battle the first half. Could neither team get nothing done. You know, big rivalry game. Both teams was up for it. But, you know, they, they say, you know, long, you know. Who, who gonna outlast who? They, they, these two teams really went in the locker room, locked up. You know, everybody was suspecting, oh man, this gonna be a game here. Boy, these guys locked up at, you know, this ain't the same Spencer, man. Carver can't even score on them. 
Yeah, but you know, like I said, Carl would been going in the locker room title zero zero at this point. Man, I didn't know who was gonna win this ball game. I figured this would be a it's gonna be a tight ball game. First one score win. That's how I felt. Going into the locker room. First one score win, because neither one offensively could do nothing with the other. So both defense played lights out first half. I mean, here we go. First possession for Carla, second half. Riley. That name rings a bell. Takes it all the way to the house to set the tone for the second half. Man, like I said, you gotta be battle tested playing Carl. Now I know I said the first person score would probably win this ball game, so I'm predicting it score would probably been seven to zero. You know, due to the fact, you know, both defense playing lights out. Man, they say that's what that's when they say that death chart, you know, catch up with you. Especially got guys playing both ways, you know. Carl. Hey man, you got one one job to do. And here you go, the second position of Carver. Riley. Gone again. Another house call. Shoot, man. This thing had I got out of hand in the second half. This thing, you know Carver up big, two two scores. I mean this is a, a football team that went all the way to the state. This is a team that, you know, went to the state championship game. They came on short. But, like I said, this team is battle tested. And here we go. The Vez. This is the same position. Straight up the middle for a touchdown. Man, like I said, there wasn't no turning back from there. Carver was going back to back. Feels some next position. I mean they They just couldn't see any get their rhythm in this ball game. Carver we really, you know, just, you know. It was just like I said, Carver had one of the number one defense in the state. You know, top ten defense in the state, so it's, it's kinda hard to score them. Up 21-0, and Carver wasn't done yet. Corvette flips the ball to Matavius McCoy, and he made a house call all the way to, to the house to put Carver up 28-0. Man, what a second half. Man, these boys were not playing. At this point, Spencer knew it was their last chance. Down 28-0. Man. Carver had to put the second screen in. And this is not a way, you know, I know they wanted a big rivalry to the end. Man. Pretty impressed. Carver ended up winning this ball game. 40 to 0. Due to the fact Spencer really won no slouch, but Spencer ended up winning their region. You know, the song says they would have played this ball game in the middle of the year. It probably would have, you know, been a battle ball game. Probably would have went the other way. But you never know. I mean, I you say you got only one shot. One chance, one shot. And, you know. They they say you can I can honestly say. This kid man. here. And he played his heart out. He played his heart out. Bought into his team. Uh, I'm still getting used to everything. Uh, first two games, we gotta get the passing game right, but we gonna fix it. We got my weakness, we gonna fix it, get it right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You, did, you did good out there, man. You did good, man. Thank you. Shoot, man. I mean, first year playing quarterback, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You ready? You ready? And like you said, hey, so you know, you said it last week, your defense. You got, you still feel you got the best defense in the team. Best defense. Your food is not. Right. With three eight. Three eight. So you on y'all on that road? Yes. Back for that state championship. Once we get this passing game right, nobody's gonna stop us. Okay, okay, that's a bet, that's a bet, man. You know what the five? Um, I, I don't know. 
to talk to him, man. You know, second half, y'all, I mean, where well, y'all did y'all job. You know, second half, man. I don't know, I don't know what's going on in that locker room. But, man, when y'all come out of second half, man, like some maniac, man. Talk to him, man. Uh, we start slow. You know, we, we, got, we had to pick up a routine. Yeah. Today was just a little flu. Like I said, like I asked me, we got to come out here more energized in the first quarter. Um, next time, next game, coming out here full fierce. Yeah. Hitting heads, everything. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Y'all stay focused, man. It was a big ride. Everybody said we're going to go the other way, you know what I mean? But y'all, I, hey, I, I, I like how you said it last week. Man, we just going to have no business. We ain't, ain't no trash talk. We come out. We're going to let our, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what you said last week. We're going to let our game do the talking for us. Man, you know what I'm saying? You see? Yes, sir. All right, I, I know I'll be watching you on Saturday. All right. <laughs> After having a bye two weeks later, September 9th, Carl was travel to make it. Maybe Carl will still celebrate from the victory from, you know, the Heritage Bowl. Because Carl wasn't, they, they found themselves in a hole early. You know, it could never repair. You know, it's, it's like they, they call it the letdown game after the big game. You know, Carl would get on the board, but. It, it, it just wouldn't be enough to hold off Northeast Mason making it's making you know they pulled it off big upset this is one of the big upset and you know in in the 3A bank Carver ended up losing that ball game 27 to 8 and let me share this real quick Northeast Macon ended up losing to Spencer later on that year <laughs> well Got another buy, coming off another buy. September 22nd, Carl will find their way up to Atlanta to take on Hapersville Charter. Up 19 to 6, Carl will find their way back in the ear zone. You know, to go up 26, 27 to 6. Carl will, Carl will dominate this ball game and get back on the winning track. They ain't said he had to find his passing game. And what better way to do that against Haperville, which he finds his wide receiver wide open in the end zone. Just getting prepared for what was ahead. Carl Van up winning 28-6. September 30th, Carl finally came back home to Columbus to have a home game. It seemed like forever. Carl hadn't had a home game in over a month. They'll be hosting Columbus High. Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I seen Columbus High play. I, you know, I figured, you know, I watched them play Shaw. I said, you know, Columbus gonna put up a, a fight in this ball game. It's, it's, it's not gonna be, you know, that after watching Columbus play Hardaway and watching them play Shaw dominate both of them ball games, I expected a, 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 a tough competitive ball game here, which we would get in the first quarter. It'll be an interception taken for a pick six, and Columbus High was up 7 to 0. Man. Would this be the day for Columbus? Or would Carver just, you know, do what Carver do? Well, I say this. The celebration wouldn't last long. It wouldn't last long at all. Due to the fact, on the very next position, the main man, Riley. Riley took the ball 70 yards to put Carver right back, you know, in the ball game. It was 76 after that. You know, Carver would not look back in his ball game. Now Columbus very next position. Brian Mesfield drops back, fires, hit his receiver, fumbled the ball. Picked up by Carson Baldwin, taken to the house. Like I said, when you play Carver, you got to be mistake free. Carver went up 12 to 7. Never looked back. And I'm not mistaken, Carver lead the city, you know, the by city and, you know, defensive touchdowns. I, you know, for my eyes, you know, so I never really checked the real stats. But <laughs> you got to play mistake free playing this team. Up 12 to 
number seven. Yeah. They decided to add more fuel to the fire. Touchdown rally. Take the score. Take the lead. 18 to 7. Now up 18 to 7. What else could they be looking for? Dean decided to do the quarterback keeper and take it to the house. Almost 80 yard touchdown run. Man. Thing got out of hand real quick. Just when I thought Columbus, you know, was gonna put up a decent fight. Carver just showed, you know, the power of Carver. Carver ended up winning this ball game. 45 to 7. And we just came out here to dominate like we should, man. We did what everybody expected us to do. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. How you feel the rest of the season? Yeah, I feel great. Hey, I know we're going to make it run. I know we're going to do it. Yeah. I'm watching you on. Peace, man. Turn the game around here. Yes, sir. You know, we came out flat, but we know we picked it up. Big defensive starts, you know. We just going better and better every week. One no every week. One no every week. Yes, sir. Y'all ready to make that run in that play, all right? Oh, yes, sir. We trying to get back to state. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Y'all going back there. Yes, sir. Y'all oh, ready, all oh, ready. I got you. How you feeling about the rest of the season? Good. You know, we had a good game. You know, we came out slow at first, but we came out again, did our thing, ran out the uh, scoreboard. Good season? How you feel about the playoffs? Playoffs. We got to go hard at practice. Go hard at practice. Go hard at practice. October the 7th. Yeah, Carl made that road trip. Thomasville to take on Thomasville Bulldogs. Man, this was a dog fight, man. This, this, you gotta lay it all on the line right here. Carver, Carver struggled most of this ball game. It, I mean, it was a defensive ball game. Neither team could, you know, capitalize. But one big play, Dean showed off his arm attack. So here we go. Quarterback drops back. And he throws a, this is a 95 yard touchdown pass. Yeah, to Baldwin, man. This, this, this here, they sound a staple right here. Carl found himself playing one of the toughest teams on their schedule. This was really a true dog fight here. Thomasville came ready. I mean, they, these guys here, they defended their home field. They defended their home field. Thomasville really ended up winning this ball game, 15 to 14. This will be a night to be remembered forever in the Carver family. Members of the same Columbus family lost their lives in a car wreck Friday night on the way back from watching their son's football game in Thomasville, Georgia, leaving behind their 15-year-old son and several other family members. Our Ashley Williams joins us live from Carver High School where the son attends school. And Ashley, so do we know now what happened to cause this heartbreaking wreck? Barbara, police say that Byron, Katrina, and sister Cameron Jakes were driving home from their son Braylon's football game Friday night when a car crossed into their lane, causing a head-on collision and causing their car to erupt in flames, killing them instantly. I talked with some family members today who uh, tell me they are solely depending on God through this time of grief. Here it is, October the 14th, Chris County comes to town. Carver grieving, but they got a ball game to play. Man, this this is one of the toughest, you know, moments for Carver. I mean, I, one guy said it better. My man hurt, we hurt. We hurt as a team. We know we got to handle our business on the field, but we still hurt. We got to get prepared for this ball game because Chris County coming to try to knock off Carl. So here we go. I can honestly say Carver handled this whole situation. The football team to handle this with class, you know what I'm saying? We hey and we gonna pray for our brother. We all gonna get through this together. But in the meanwhile, 
Chris County, they're in our way. They're in our way. and drive. Carver moves the ball all the way down the field and then Riley takes it in for the go ahead touchdown for the first score of the ball game. Carver 6, Chris County 0. Well I can honestly say this kid Trey Walker uh, he wouldn't go away. Yeah. Trey Walker would take this ball 50 yards to the house. Uh, Carver. This is the biggest run I had seen all year against Carver. Man. This kid here is ready to have it. The whole game against Carver, too. Chris Conner would be up 7 6. Oh, y'all gotta wake up. Y'all gotta wake up. Driving the ball inside the 20. Quarterback drops back and hits Jamarion Troutman for a screen and a go ahead touchdown to put Chris County up 14 to 6. Carver down by eight. What are they going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to go to Mr. Reliable. Riley. Carver gets the ball to Riley. Riley straight up the middle for a 65 yard touchdown. Like I said, this man here put the team on his back in, in desperate situations. Yeah, you can count on Riley. I can honestly tell you. Whatever school picked this running back up, you got yourself a running back. Yeah, you got yourself a running back. So this is what we got. Tied up at 14. They ain't got to make a play. Carl was in this offensive spread. Three wide outs. One back. Dean drops back. And he airs it out. For the touchdown. Guess who? Braylon Jakes. Man. You ever heard of the angel in the outfield? Yeah, it was an angel in the ear on that night. Touchdown call. Call will go for two. And go up 22 to 14. We'll figure they got to get a handle on this walker kid. I mean, he ain't been a problem the whole game. Chris Counter would drive all the way down the field and punch it in to make it a one score game. They went for two and couldn't get it. So the score would be 20 to 22. In the final moments of the game, Chris County. Final drive, could go up, quarterback scramble, and it's a little, uh, they say it was a lateral pass, picked up by Carver, taken in for the house, the go ahead, touchdown to Carver to put the game out of reach, and Carver would win this ball game, 30 to 20. Talk to him, man. Big hard game, hard ball game. Talk to him, man. Oh, yeah, they said that when they home, we had strong who home it was. I know they gonna say, hey, Coach, God dang. Talk to him, man. Jamar and Riley. Jamar, put a team on your back. Great region win. First game back at the crib. Tell us about it. Man, it feels amazing, man. All the hard work and dedication we put in during practice, we knew it was gonna be a big game for us, and we just had to execute all the plays that Coach told us to do. We came out here and did it. So, what did you tell you guys at halftime to get them readjusted? 
keep your head up, keep pushing, keep fighting. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be an easy game. We already knew that coming in. So just, you know, keep pushing. And you know, with the Tiger family that's facing adversity right now, the whole community took a major ill. What did you guys do to come together with your brother Jalen and have him prepare, I mean Braylon, have him prepare for this game? Well, you know, we all had to stay around him no matter what because we knew, you know, the tragic loss that he did. And when he cried, we cried. You know, when, when he hurt, we all hurt. You know, you know, one team, one heart, one goal, baby. Good game, big dog. Sure. <laughs> Ski checking in, my boy Neville Dean. What's up, man? QB. Tell me about tonight's performance. Man, it was up and down. You know, I had to. You know what I'm saying? But I, I give it all to my new offensive line. My offensive line held it down for me. And you know, we had to get it for Raylan. Um, He's been going through a lot. And it's for him. So, what did, what did you tell the younger guys at halftime to readjust? Because you know, y'all were down at the half. I told him that yeah, that was down all all last playoff down uh, down by like touchdown. We can do this. All we gotta do is stay together and keep going. You gotta give you gotta give a shout out to your defense. You know you guys held them to six points in the second half. First half they had 14. You guys only had six. I put up 24 points. Man, tell us about that third down touchdown to Mr. Jake. You know what I'm saying? Not having. Get the quarter. I had to get the safety to go over a little bit. Now I see my boy Bradley. You know, my boy Bradley gonna catch him, bro. So how, how, how does it feel to get this big region win? It feels great because a lot of people count us out last night. Like we you know we lost by one and we should have won. A lot of people been counting us out, but we up. We up right now. We up. That's all I'm gonna say. Have a good performance, my guy. Already. Hey, TJ Taylor here checking in with E. Braylon. Braylon, I know you played tonight with a heavy heart. And the whole community took a major L, you know, long live for folks. You know, we hit with you. What did you do mentally to help you prepare for tonight? I just, I just thought about them all day, and I just pictured them, you know, standing behind me. And I just did it for them. They're doing it for them all week. You had the game changing touchdown. What was going through your head during that play? Did you know you was going to get the ball from? Yeah, I just like, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Man, major victory night. Huge, huge region win. What's gonna be mine right now? Yeah, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Hey, you heard it here first. He's that guy. Good game, baby boy. You get that from me. Here you go. October the 21st, Auburn and Georgia. Carl will travel to play tomorrow. This car will find itself down 13 to 8, which Carl will, you know, get on the board. Morrow will punch it back in and call them down 19 to 14. Down 19 to 14. Call them to stop. There you have it. Interception. Which he will return it into Carver territory and give Carver good field position. 22 to 19. Quarterback drops back, little screen pass to Riley. And Riley picks up a big game to put this ball game away. Carver winning the ball game, 35 to 19. October the 27th, Thursday night, in the new stadium. Yeah, this is Spencer, old Spencer Stadium. Carver breaking it in. Dory, Dory County. Yeah, this this is gonna be a you know two heritage school. You know, I figured Dory put up a good fight, but you know that's why you play the game. You find out for yourself. Open and dry. Dean decided to do the quarterback keeper. And get Carver the first score of the ball game. Second quarter, Carver hands the ball off to Riley, and it's bye bye Riley. Riley took the ball 85 yards to the house. Man, like I said, this kid here. He gonna be somewhere said it. So 
Here you go, carve it, Dorothy. 25 yard line. Dean hikes the ball, gives it right up the middle to Matavius McCourt, and he takes it straight up the gut for another Carver score. Man, this thing was getting out of hand here. Carver didn't care nothing about him. Man. Oh, big. Carver still wasn't done. The Vail Dean drops back, fires, and connects with his wide receiver, Gentry Sherman. And he does the rest and takes it to the house. Carver will end up winning his ball game, 28-0. Yeah, like he said, his defense of Carver, man. And say he had no one defense in 3A. Yeah, he, he proved it. He's going to show. All for the win. See them on the news all the time, you know. I'm, I'm thinking of some of these, you know what I'm saying? This, this gonna be a tough game, huh? Carl's gonna have to earn this. At least that's what I was thinking. Here you go. No score. Carl was driving all the way down to the five yard line. And Dean hands it off to Riley. And he does the honor. He'll call the first score of the ball game. Like I said, touchdown Riley. Man. Here you go, Carver. Right here, attempting the extra point. When you say, can't nothing go wrong at this point. <laughs> can't nothing go wrong. As the man bobbles the extra point and decided to you know, pick it up and run it in for the score. To give Carver an 8 0 lead. Already up 8 0. Hand out to Riley. Riley makes a few cuts and it and dashes for the ill zone to go up 14 0. Carver ain't playing. Touchdown, Riley. 15 0. Now I can honestly say, Riley, 
man, he don't get enough credit. To me, this is the best running back in the city. Class of 2022, Riley, the best running back in the Bay City. Already up big, up to lead punch the ball to Ja'Cory Hatter, and he made a house call all the way. Yeah, all one play. It's playoff time. They sending a statement right here. Up 21-0. Carver one done yet. Quarterback hands off to Mateus McCoy. Up the gut. Round the end. To the house. Yeah, Carver Cruz. First round. Yeah, they end up winning that ball game. 39-0. No one boy said lights out defense. That defense of Carver. Finish our first round, trying to get better every week, trying to finish it up, get our revenge from last year. All right, all right, all right. November the 18th, Carver traveled to Harlem to play in the second round of the playoff. And Carver stole early and often. Yeah, I don't think Harlem knew this was a playoff game. Knew that it could be this could be their last game. <laughs> the way they played, you know, just you know. Um, Carver really just you know beat them with ease I mean like I said they scored early and often up 28 to 0 Carver wasn't done for what appear to be another score. So here we go. 34 to 7. Carl was still pouring it on. <laughs> they were playing like they were playing. You know, it was like a two-no game. Carl ended up winning this ball game 40 to 7. November the 25th. Oh, back at home, the new lady, getting ready for O'Coney. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they know nothing about O'Coney coming into this ball game. They, they, you know what I'm saying, we probably figure, you know what I'm saying, they're a decent team. You know what I'm saying, they probably, you know, it's third round here. Third round here. All of them hosting the O'Coney. It's good to be a, you know, start off a pretty decent ball game, you know. Coney got the ball, first quarter, drove all the way down the field. Quarterback, hands 
comes out to the running back, gets in the air zone for the first score of the ball game. Ball is down. First time in the playoffs. Up 70 0. Barber just couldn't get nothing going. It was a rough night for him, you know. One thing you can say, Oconee brought they brought a defense. They brought a defense that I don't think Carver seen all year long. So he was making big plays after big play. It seemed like they, they, they studied Carver. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, they, they knew what they were running. It was, it, was, it was rough. It was rough. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, these playoffs where you, you know the best meet the best. Up. Up 7 0 with a good defense. Man. Corner quarterback and the shotgun. Takes the snap. And he's in trouble straight off the rip and just throws up a prayer but end up being a touchdown for a coney man we say everything going wrong for Carl. everything going wrong like the man just threw up a hail mary and it was caught by a coney on the up man it's 14-6 Corner would take a knee and go in the locker room with a 14 to 6 lead. Man, yeah, these boys gotta, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta get it together. Man, they gotta do something. I like Carl. They down. 14 to 6. Man, but they gotta make a move, man. Gotta make a move. Coney brought a defense that Carl wasn't used to seeing. Shoot, these guys, these guys here for Carl, they. I know they want to end their season, uh, which, which is an outstanding season on a note like this. But the struggles were still there. Carver still struggled on offense. Couldn't get nothing going. Miscues, everything. It just, it just one of them nights. They just couldn't get the rhythm of the game. He, I, he, he was all over the place this ball game, you know. Like I got to it ain't like a, it was a strange night to fall again. You know, time ain't on their side. He was going to win the fourth quarter. Defense still, you know. Yeah, making big plays. Man, there's a lot on the line right here. All the corner we're doing, trying to, you know, we got 12 minutes to try to run this clock out. Move the ball a little bit, you know. Keep the ball away from Paul. Man, this is this. This is a, a tough moment though. Carver gets the ball back. Running out of running out of time. Dean scrambles. And he gets about five yards. It, this clock ain't on his side. Yeah, the guy so foggy, I had to, you know, bring the camera down so 
man, though, like I said, this was a strange night. Foggy. It was almost as if all they could do is have to run the ball. And O'Connor wasn't allowing that. He wasn't allowing that. And there you have it. The last play of the game. Carver was unable to execute. And O'Connor just took a knee and got out of there with the victory. 14 to 6. Man, that was a tough one though. That was a tough one. One thing I gotta say about Carl, they ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing to hold y'all head down about. I mean, the game, you know. Still the outstanding season. I still accomplish a lot. Y'all still, you know. A dominant program in, in, in the Bay City. Everybody know about you. I know it's a tough loss, man. It's, it's, man. This, this was hard. Carver would finish the season. Nine and three. Four and one in region play. Yeah, that was it for Carver. But like I said, we all know they'll be back. They'll be back. Boys from the hill. They will be back. I can honestly say it has been a pleasure watching Carver do they do all year long this is a special team like I said they don't rebuild they reload I can't wait to see what 23 24 season hold for Carver man it's a lot of five stars on this team there's some guys going to Georgia LSU Auburn I mean you know, they reloaded. I mean, they, they loaded, they loaded on the field, man. You know what I'm saying? As I close out this documentary, I can honestly say, you guys, y'all have made me a fan. Y'all have made me a fan. Some of y'all probably don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Just watch me around the camera. But watching y'all this 2022 season, man, it was something special to me. It's your boy, Dirty South, signing off. Until next season.